Hey guys, this is Brandon and Casey and my number one hand, turd head here. Hey, we're gonna, I made a quail feeder earlier, but we're gonna make another one and we're gonna show y'all how I made it. So I got, I went and bought me a three inch pipe today, 10 foot, had them cut it in half so I can haul it back better. And I got me a couple of them old air right there, them elbows, two of them. And then I got, uh, so I got my drill. I got my drill there. And my sawzall. My tape measure. And I don't need a pen. Well, I did get a marker. So I could mark some things. So, yeah, we're going to make quail feeder because right now we, the way we feed them is it's not a really good, uh, not a really good system. So, uh, that's really on there. So, we're going to leave that on there. Okay. So, measure this out. Right there. Okay, I marked it about nine and a half. It ain't got to be perfect. So, I'm gonna hold this. Or, Casey, you wanna hold it? You want me to cut it or what? Just cut it right. You gotta start it out slow. Not even, but you know what? That doesn't matter either, so. It's gonna be all right. Gonna be all right. So yeah. Tomorrow I think we're gonna go to a sale. We're gonna take some chicks and some guineas. Maybe a few bigger chickens. Maybe buy some things. Who knows? Who knows? There you go, see that right there? Okay, now. Here, I'll measure it and mark it. Mark it at, mark it about 17 and a half. So I'm gonna cut these 17 and a half because our pen is 24 inches tall. So we can cut these at 17 and a half and it's not gonna, it's not gonna reach there, but it's gonna get close. Get on that mower. So I'm gonna have Casey cut this one. There you go. <laughs> number one hand, right here, number one hand. All right, cut this one. Mark it on about 17 and a half. Okay. He's gonna jar me to death. <laughs> Hopefully, he don't cut me. Cut it straight. Go ahead. Shorter than the other. Nope, nope, they're about the same. They're about the same. All right, clean that side up. So then you gotta clean it up a little bit, like that right here. Somewhat, somewhat. This is how me and Casey roll right here. You know, ain't, ain't nothing gotta be perfect. If we tried to make it perfect, it wouldn't work out the way we wanted it to anyway. So, ain't no sense in trying. So, like our carpentry skills. Yeah. Those aren't we ain't cool. Jesus. We ain't got them carpenter skills. Mm -hmm. We ain't Noah. We don't got them building that boat carpenter skills. Like Noah? No ark building skills? Yeah, he got them building skills right there. 
All right, you got her cleaned up. Put her in there. All right. Put it like that right there. Boom. Get our hole cut. Hold on, hold on, we got her. I'm gonna take my license plate here. Where'd our where'd our sharpie go? Uh, where is it? Uh oh, man down. We lost the sharpie. Um. Is it in it? No. Okay. No. Check in there real quick. Oh, sharpie. We have lost our carpet. That's why we can't have nice things around here. Mm -hmm. It's probably over here. Tyson has this uh, inability to look for things. He skims over it and he's like, oh, I need it. So I'm gonna use this old license plate. Don't show the other side. No one wants to see that. It was a jigsaw tag. It took it off because I'm angry at him. So there you go. How about that? Tell me not to show something. Anyway. So put a line there on top. You put your line on there. Boom. Okay. Then. Mm -hmm. You're going to get your, your bit, your uh, whatever this thing's called. I'm going to put it in reverse so it doesn't tear and crack my plastique. So now that we got our watering system going, the next, I mean our feeders going, our next thing will be our waters. I want to get some better waters. Um, we just got some chick waters out there now and they tend to run out fairly quickly. So, and I don't want them to run out. Waters will be next. So we start to become some quail farmers, ain't we? We're quail farmers. Yeah. We don't care what anybody says. We're quail farmers. It's still on. Oh, it is. Oh, yeah, it's still on. Uh, grab that camera and show what I'm doing here, kiddo. Okay. Uh. Bring it around here. So I got it in reverse that way. It doesn't crack my pipe. Well, that one's a little off, but it's okay. I think we're only gonna be able to do one more hole.
That's okay. It's all right to be a redneck. I'm gonna kind of clean that up. You can make this as long as you want. I tried to make it shorter because it's a gravity fed feeder. That way, I'm gonna fill it, we're gonna fill it from here. And that way it comes into the middle and uh, they can get in there and eat. So that's our feeder. And we'll show you how we got it in the pen here in, in a few minutes. So stay tuned. We're just gonna put this one in there, we're gonna water them. We're gonna hang a water up. And we're gonna tint our quail. Hey, put your hand up there a little bit. Uh, there you go, squeeze that deal. See how it feels like that. There you go, and she just falls down in there. And be mindful when you go here because it's still, you know what I mean? You still got some in that cup. And squeeze that one when you do it so you don't spill that thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we got a dilemma. Hi. You good? That's what I'm saying. You gotta be mindful where you at on that one. Yeah. I did the same thing on that one over. Okay. I was carried away. I was just getting it done. See, we work in the dark. You gotta hold on to it now. You're stealing half of it. Look, you just took 20 cents in feed. <laughs> right there. On the, on the ground. All over the place. So rabbit bottle works great. There's one thing we won't have to do this every day. Probably good. Got to tip it. So now he's going to overfill it. So this is the water we got in there. I got it hanging by some bungees. So, and they got their little dust bath over there. So that's uh, that's kind of our setup Bungie right now. Now that we got this feeder going, that's a little off, one's taller than the other, that's okay. Well, thank y'all for uh, watching our video. I know it's a little long. I'm probably gonna edit a bunch of this, but uh, thanks for watching our video on how to build a quail feeder, a DIY quail feeder. So be sure to do what, Tyson? I can subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss on any of our videos. Yes. Please join us. Tell your friends. Uh, so we'll see what we can get into. Don't forget to comment either. Yeah, leave us a comment. Tell us we're idiots or... If you have a YouTube channel, tell us what it is. Tell us what, we'll go check it. you out. Maybe. See y'all. See you.